All right, today I'm gonna to talk to you about the Blackbird Camera Stabilizer from Camera Motion Research, which is this product right here. Now, a few weeks ago, I had done a review on the Steadicam Merlin, and I wasn't very happy that after spending 10 to 12 hours with that product in two different cameras that I could not get it balanced the way I wanted it to. The folks at Camera Motion Research saw that review and asked me if I wanted to review their product, which they say can be balanced on any camera or with any camera in about a half hour or less. Well, I did find that to be very true when I took a look at this product with this Canon Vixia here and also a Canon 5D Mark II with a 24 to 70 lens, I was able to get both the cameras balanced in about uh, 15 minutes or less. So what I'm gonna do in this video is tell you a little bit about what's included in this kit from Camera Motion Research, the Blackbird kit, as well as show you some sample footage. And at the end, I'm gonna give you my recommendation on whether this is a buy or don't buy. All right, so if you buy the full on um, Blackbird stabilizer kit from either Camera Motion Research or like BNH Photo, you're gonna get this kind of top of the line kit here which includes this case. Now if we go ahead and open up the case, I'll kind of show you what's inside of it. So the first thing is this, uh, this user manual, um, which I think is about 30 or so pages that has a lot of great information on how to get it set up. Uh, this goes along with this DVD that's in here. This DVD is about an hour long. Um, I found this to be very good. You know, I'd rather have it be longer than shorter. Um, the uh, next thing in here is the uh, stage mounting plate where you mount this to your camera. Um, it includes the tripod screws and some of the locating pins and whatnot. Uh, there's a gimbal extender down here um, and just some other different accessories. Here's the, uh, the weights here, the counterweights. There's two sets of these and they're very easy to get on and off here. I found that very uh, intuitive. The uh, stabilizer itself is right here, kind of slides along here. It's all packed very nicely in here. Now, if you go along with this full kit, there's a couple other things that come with it that are actually pretty helpful that I like. Uh, one is what they call this universal docking connector here, which uh, can help you, you basically mount this to a C-stand, a tripod, or a table with this accessory. And then you can kind of put this stabilizer on there to kind of hold it, you know, when you want to get uh, maybe more of a stable shot or a, uh, a steady shot uh, on like a fixed object like a tripod or a table. Um, the other thing that comes with besides these two are, uh, there's actually a tripod mounting plate right here. Okay, so you can see this is all fits together very nicely in this case. It really makes, I think, really makes this a great value as far as these dis different accessories. The price for this all is lower than the uh, Steadicam Merlin, and I think you get a lot more bang for your buck. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how uh, this looks when it's all set up. So here's the Blackbird balanced with this uh, Canon Vixia camera. I'm pretty happy with the balance. Like I said, it took about 15 minutes to do this. And you can see this is kind of what you're going to get once you uh, unpack the packaging and whatnot and, and put it together. Uh, it's got a stage like some of the other ones do. It's got some trimming adjustments here for the side and for the front. It's also got a nice couple of bubble, bubble levels here to make sure that you're level. Um, the gimbal is right here. Uh, can be raised or lowered and you can also add some friction to help stabilize it. Uh, the counterweights themselves uh, that, that it comes with, uh, those can be found down here on the bottom and they're very easy with these swift offs to kind of add and remove. The length of this bar down here can actually also be changed out with uh, some of the kits uh, to increase or, or decrease the amount uh, of um, movement while panning and whatnot. And then here you also have uh, an adjustment to bring this, this whole T-bar up or down to help kind of get your, uh, your center of gravity correct as well. One of the other features I really like is this stand option slides out here, kind of pops on the front. So what you can do is you can put this down on the ground like this to kind of rest it when you're not shooting with it without uh, you know resting your lens or anything on the ground. It's a fantastic option. Now I feel like I have this one balanced pretty well in about after about 15 minutes. Um, they always say that one of the big tests is the, the horizontal to vertical drop time, the, the amount of time it takes to get from horizontal here to across the vertical plane. So let's try it once here and just see what we have. And bring it to, ver to horizontal and we'll count it off. Here we go. One, two, three. Now it spun just a little bit there, but the drop time itself was pretty good, I feel. So let's take a look at some of the sample footage from this next.
So is this a product you buy or don't buy? I think this product is definitely a buy and I hope to get one for myself soon. First of all, it's a lot easier to set up for different cameras than the Merlin Steadicam was. Second, it's got a lot of different accessories and amenities that that Merlin Steadicam product does not come with. And the last thing is that the price is um, a fair amount cheaper than the Merlin Steadicam prices, whether you buy it from Camera Motion Research themselves or from B&H Video. Well, I hope you found this video about the Blackbird Camera Stabilizer informative. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you share it with your friends. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at www.mnwebco.com. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. If you'd like to receive future updates from the Minnesota website company, please subscribe to this channel. And thanks again for watching.